Things like election integrity. There's another RPT priority. They lobbied against the ban on a state income tax, saying, actually, you know what? We need to be like California. That's what they're lobbying on. They even lobby against ethics. So I had a, a bill the other day in committee that says, look, you just need to tell the taxpayers how their money is spent and if there are any conflicts. No, we can't do that. We want to keep that hidden from the taxpayers. You know, it's worse than that, too. We're all elected to represent our constituents directly, whether that's local government or state government. We don't need an Austin lobbyist, taxpayer-funded middleman. That is our job. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be your ethic. And on top of that, uh -oh. it's, un it's unethical. Yeah. It's an unethical practice, because you know, a lot of that money that goes to the pockets of Austin lobbyists, it ends up as campaign donations. It's being cycled into campaign donations. And trust me, most of that is not in your favor. So we've spoken. 94% of Republican primary voters want this practice banned. Well, all I gotta say to that is vote your district. This session, let's pass the ban on taxpayer funded lobbying and let's pass House Bill 749 and Senate Bill 10 to get that done. Thank y'all. Thank you, Representative uh, Middleton. Uh, at this at this point, we're waiting on a few more folks to come out to, to speak to us today. Uh, Representative Biederman has a, a couple more things that he wants to, to say, so uh, we'll we'll have him come back up and uh, speak some more for us. Thank you. So one thing I didn't really talk about earlier, and I don't know if anybody else has, we've been working on this issue with a number of the gun groups and other people for the last nine months, which doesn't usually happen here at the Capitol. Usually we don't work together as much as we should, but we started over nine months ago. I believe the reason that we are so far this year is we started early, we got people together on the same page working for this one day and not trying to have everybody's individual pet bill be passed. I mean, my bill, I think was great. But what's more important is that this bill gets passed than it be mine or Representative Hefner's or even Chairman White's. We have a great bill with Matt Cheney. And so it's a culmination of working together and not looking for the credit and not looking uh, to have a big ego because that's one of the big problems up here is ego. And ego gets in the way of a lot of good things happening. So uh, I just wanted to let you know that because it's really important that uh, that we as representatives actually represent the people for what you want and not representing ourselves Amen. to make ourselves look good. Amen. And that's what happens, but tomorrow we're gonna prove that it works for us working together. In fact, the four of us got in the same room and we talked about all four of our bills. That doesn't usually happen. So all four of us representatives were in the same room talking about our bills and deciding which ones would be best to go forward, what our strategy was going to be. And that's culminating to what's going to happen tomorrow. So uh, we've got uh, Representative Slayton over here. Do you want to come over and say something? You know, this is amazing. We, we're usually not available at this time because sessions going or whatever. God knew that this rally was going to happen and that we had needed to be here to speak to you all to let you know how much we appreciate you, but also for the fact that we finally have good news. Because a lot of times it's a bunch Woo! of excuses, but no excuses for tomorrow. And here's our representative. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Representative Biederman. Uh, I just wanted to, I wanted to actually be the one to introduce uh, Brian. Brian has been a, a good friend of mine for a long time. Uh, his, his mom and dad are, I've known probably longer than I've known Brian, but uh, uh, as far as young, new House members, I don't know if anybody else has made the impact that Brian has made since being born in this year. And uh, I'm proud to introduce, he, he's also one of the reps that come, that's in the same uh, area as Senator Hall, and I'm glad that, to, to work with him as well. But 
Representative Brian Slayton. Thank you, and I am honored to be here with a bunch of patriots. And, um, you know, the right to bear arms, it comes from God. Amen. It's the Bill of Rights that then backs that up. And I just want to tell you, I'm so excited that we're going to have constitutional carry on the floor tomorrow. And I don't think Republicans in Texas work as hard as they work to get Republicans in control for constitutional carry that's watered down. Constitutional carry that has training wheels. So we're going to try to push forward with constitutional carry just like you would want. And we'll just see how the House votes. But we thank you all for being here. God bless you. God bless Texas. Well, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick five minute break until uh, hopefully we get Senator Hall out here, or uh, hopefully Reverend Schaefer if he's available. But uh, give us just a few minutes, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 